Those of you who have been watching me play this game of Battlestar Galactica since the beginning may recall that I, uh, I bemoan the fact, well I didn't really bemoan, but I pointed out the fact that I have a shorter periods of time to film. It just so happened the last two times I filmed I actually had longer periods. Uh, we're back to shorter periods and I made uh, kind of an error, I don't know. Um, this weekend uh, someone, uh, I arranged a game of Battlestar Galactica. We're using my copy of course because no one else has has a copy uh, who I'm playing with and so I need to get this game done as soon as possible so that means I'm gonna have to start booking it through this um, or you know maybe the humans will die right away uh, but not I won't I won't try to make them die um, but it, it could could happen there is a robot on board so we're gonna get to playing I'm gonna try to to jabber less and play more because there is now a deadline as you may or may not recall, when we left off, it was um, this is a this is one these tokens. These tokens are never useful to me. They're just the the, the sort of thing that the, those who really want to go by the rules of the game uh, try to stick to. But in actual play, I find that uh, in this game, this token isn't particularly useful unless you're playing solitaire. Um, and in fact, I would say it's it's worse than useful it's it's it make it makes play harder because there will be someone who is very insistent that you keep passing that token around um, anyway it's useful if you leave the table and come back to mark the person so you know whose turn it is uh, I am digressing um, those of you who might recall it we left off on Tater as in Todd's turn looking at her suspicion board she is positive hubba is a silence you'd like to do something about it remember she hates backstabbers so um, since then it's been a day since I've played I believe um, I'm really bad with uh, remembering time. Since then, she's been trying to convince the others to uh, go in with her on stopping Hubba in some way. However, Hubba is the only one who can currently repair these Admiral Quarters. And the Admiral Quarters, this bedroom, is what's required to send someone to jail, which is what you need to do to stop someone who you know is a silent or who you believe is a silent. So she's been talking to them, especially Nineball, because she knows that Nineball, as the president, has access to, I think there's a card in here somewhere, maybe two, I don't know, that just can automatically throw someone in jail. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. Um, but she thinks that because I think that. And so she's been trying to convince him. Um, Nineball's a pretty easygoing guy, and so we're just going to do a little die roll to see if she's convinced him. Um, so first he's going to roll. He's going to roll against his suspicion of both of them, which is two. Uh, we'll start with his suspicion of Tater. And he's not thinking she's being Cylon-y. Now we're going to try with his suspicion of Hubba. And wow, he went with it. So he agrees to help out. Um, and so that will also change his suspicion of how she convinced him. And I'll roll to see if she convinced anyone else too. So she's going to do an executive order on him um, and have him move. So he can do two actions if he doesn't move. Uh, first action is going to be to draw one of these cards. It's a food rationing card. Um, he's not going to play a card because he's, remember, he's looking for a card that can uh, put him in jail. Draws another one. Cylon mug shots. Okay. Yeah, and I think he will want to play this one. So he's going to use his second action to activate the presence office again. Draw another card. You get to establish Dogville. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then he is going to do this one. Release Cylon mug shots. Look at one random loyalty card belonging to any other player, then roll a die. If three or less, lose one morale then discard this card. So he's going to look at one of these two cards. Unfortunately, you don't get a look at one of those two cards, but he is, and then he, then I'll let you know what he says. Nineball assures everyone that not only does the card he looked at say that Hubba is not a Cylon, but that it is one of those special cards that requires him to hold cards and then discard a certain sum all at once in order to avoid um, losing a resource. Everyone, uh, people had different reactions to that, but they tended to think, think better of Hubba than of Tater, and that she failed to convince people that Hubba was a traitor, and in fact, some people's suspicions of, of um, Tater have actually gone up. 
so it may be maybe her Im Im implorings have backfired to an extent. Which brings us to force water mining. First thing you'll notice is the, the really high number that's needed to, to beat this, this um, challenge. Uh, that's, that's mitigated by the, the number of colors that are good against it. Um, another thing you'll notice is that it's one of those where the player gets to make a choice. So um, our tater here has to decide whether to try for the check, um, in which case the prize is in, in added food, um, with the, the penalty being a loss of both population and morale, which they're both, the, the, the humans are rather low on. Um, or her other choice is to add to the food, um, get a free food, but lose some morale and everyone has to lose a card. Now she's looking ahead at the other players who are going to be playing into this check when making her decision. Um, if she was confident about the other players, and, or if or if the other players had more cards available, it would be a no-brainer to go for the check, because morale and po population are both um, both low. She doesn't want to lose either of them, um, and if you you choose the latter option, you're going to lose morale. However, since population is thrown into it, and since Watermelon doesn't have any cards, Hubba has plenty of cards, but she doesn't trust him. And Nine Ball doesn't have many. Uh, Brezza has some, but a lot of his cards are red, and red's the one co color against it. Um, she is not going to go for it, which is going to going to be very painful for everyone. Um, they get some food, which is their best thing, and they lose some morale. So that's almost in the red. They're getting very sad, so I think this guy has forced them all to eat or something, and everyone has to lose a random skill card. So we'll just go ahead and try this one, and that one, and this one, and this one, and she doesn't have one, and the water has been mined, and people are going to be thinking once again about Tater. Brezza has now joined Hubba in the five range in terms of their feelings about Tater. They are both uh, positive. They can feel in their, their heart of hearts that Tater, or Tater, Tater is a Cylon. We'll see what they do about it. It's Hubba's turn right now. What Hubba is doing about it is he's going to this bedroom and he's fixing it. And so it's all better. And since He's a maintenance engineer. He gets to do something else, and he is going to trigger the bedroom action to try to throw this fellow, um, who is Tater, into jail. Now, before the skill check happens, he just drew this card, um, and it's a perfect time to use it. It means it just automatically fails or passes um, at his option. Since he is certain she's a Cylon, he's choosing that it passes, and so she goes to the brig. That's going to cause her to lose her admiralty and this admiralty, um, I believe that's what you call an admiral title, goes down the chain of command um, to Lee Apollo Adama who is played by Brezza. And it's time for mandatory testing. These thing, these cards seem to be coming up beautifully and I, I have to promise you I'm not I'm not picking them out um, on purpose. I should uh, I, I could film myself drawing them from the deck, but then I you might think while I cut it that I stack the deck so that certain cards would come up certain places. Um, it's mandatory testing time. So what this would do is if if the the humans if the team passes this check, um, the president nine ball would get to look at a loyalty card of the current player who's hubba. He already looked at one. Now. Could he could end up looking at the same one, or he could end up looking at the other if it passes. So that's that's pretty exciting, um, given all the accusations that have been flying that this would come up now um, on this player who is heavily involved in the ac accusatory dynamic. Um, the failure is a uh, lack of morale. So let's see what happens. Ooh, another in interesting thing about this card is it's going to move the robot one more. So that means that the team might have just one more chance to kill the robot um, before the robot gets to wherever the robot needs to go. I'm assuming there's a certain, maybe 
through the armory door, once it gets through the armory door, since that's where you go to shoot it, um, it gets all the guns and then can kill everyone. And so, this is a, this is a very heavy card. All right, and only f two cards were added: one by Nine Ball, one by Tater. Tater's only limited is limited to one card. Uh, Brazza claimed he didn't have any cards to add, and Hubba said that it 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 was a waste of cards. They didn't think they'd be able to make it with just the two in there. And so, we'll see how things come up. All right, that's two in favor. Yellow or green, go for it. Five in favor. Oh, this one adds two more random ones, so we'll do that right now. And those both subtract. So that's zero. And then six, and that's a big card. That's a state of emergency card. So six is not enough. It's not even enough to get the no effect. So once again, the humans are going to lose another morale. Um, bright side is they're jump. They're jumping further. Dark side is the robot is moving further uh, towards his goal of the cachet, the cache of weapons of small arms. Quick confession time. I've made a couple mistakes. Um, as those of you who are astute observers and know this game have already probably noticed. Um, one that I think was kind of kind of important was that uh, she was supposed to get to draw cards, draw extra cards whenever um, whenever a president card is used as an action. Um, I forgot to do that one of the times. I think the other time I remembered. So she should have been able to play into that last skill check but she also would have lost a card at random. So I, I, the card she ended up drawing wouldn't have actually made a difference. But I think I, I, I felt it was, it was heavy on my soul and I needed to come clean. So it's Watermelon's turn. She has just some decisions to make. She's um, become, wrong board, she's become suspicious of, um, of Hubba after his inaction during that last skill check, she she thought it didn't seem like that much of a lost cause. Uh, it was it was worth a try, especially considering how low everyone's morale was. So that brought her over over the top for him. Um, she would love to put him in the brig right now. However, she doesn't know if she can rally enough votes. A tater can't can't add in. Um, nine ball can't add in. Well, tater could add in one, but that's. That's not very much. Um, Brezza said he didn't have any green. Uh, he could possibly have purple, so he could he could help a little bit. But um, the card she has, she has a few purple. It's not going to be enough to put him away, especially if he's working against it, which you know anyone, whether they're human or Cylon, would work against having to go to jail. So she's going to probably hold off on that, especially since there's this robot and really... You know, whether he's a silent or not, the robot needs to be defeated. So she's going to roll against him. Uh, no one has that plus two card, which is too bad. She needs to get a seven or eight. The game could hinge on this one die roll. Here we go. Seven. Oh, goodbye, robot. And she is the hero of the day. That's going to make everyone happy for her. Um, I, those of you at home might be thinking, logically... You know, it's a one in four chance. It's not going to change whether or not she's a Cylon. Um, Watermelon's a Cylon. If she were to make that move, a Cylon would, could have made the same move, maybe. Um, a Cylon could also have arguably gone to the Admiral's quarters or done something else. I, I think those are probably the only two things that would be convincing enough. Um, however, there's, there's a lot to be said for emotions. And how those can affect people's decisions. So let's do a quick check on Watermelon. People aren't that suspicious of her anyway, but that suspicion level might go down. Uh, Brezza, he, he feels better about her. Hubba feels better about her. Nineball, Nineball does not. Um, Tater, Tater does not either. So Brezza and Hubba are both positive. She's not a Cylon. And it's an ambush. Unfortunately, they were training new pilots, and so uh, this guy here and anyone else, choo -choo -choo -choo, yep, any anyone else, if these come out too, they're going to have um, bad pilots, so they get minus two to their rolls. Um, 
not there. I don't think they're in as bad a situation as they were earlier in the game when they were attacked by a bunch of things. But it's still, you know, it's going to distract them from some of the other stuff that's going on. Um, the robot goes away. The ambush happens. We'll see what happens next. Nine balls turn. Uh, situation out here is if something isn't done about this. This is actually the main problem going on out here. If if a raider icon comes up, that's these ships. If you recall, this um, this civilian ship is going to be destroyed. However, he decided to be presidential since he's up in the president's office and he drew a president presidential card. I'm going to let you see what the card is. It's a presidential pardon card. Now, what this does is it could let him automatically move Tater as in Tot out of the break. So she he is going to roll. We're going to roll against. He's kind of iffy, 50-50 on her. This is going to be kind of like a flip of a coin to see whether or not he thinks she's guilty or if he's leaning towards guilty enough to um, leave her in there. All right, and he is not going to do anything to help her right now. So that, that leaves him with the choice of what to do. He's going to just draw another card. Now that, to everyone else, seems like a lot of inaction during a time of crisis. I mean, it seems like there's always a time of crisis, but still, just drawing cards doesn't seem like a good use of activity. So um, they are all going to be taking another look at Nine Ball. All right, so Brezza and Hubba both became more suspicious of Nine Ball. Tater and Watermelon did not. Then the circle popped up, and I haven't read this yet. The circle has examined the evidence and found you guilty of treason against humanity. Ooh, I think the circle are the, the murdering folk. So the president, who happens, it happens to be his turn right now, has to choose. His choice is he must either choose another player to receive the president title, or the current player is executed. <laughs> so he has to make... He has to, uh, yeah, he has to either, okay, his other choice is the president discards some cards and then he, uh, he, so either he has to give up his title or be killed or he has to give up um, all his cards. So that's a really tough call. Um, do we see here, that's, that's going to be blown up. So, hmm, he feels like people are kind of mad at him. So I think he's going to give up his title, which is really sad for him. Who is he going to give it up to? He doesn't want to give up the cards because it just that just feels wasteful. So could be pretty much anyone except Tater is who he'd give it to. All right, we'll get back to you. It didn't end up being too hard of a decision. Brezza already has two titles, so he didn't want to give it to him because then, you know, that's all the power in one place. And he's not 100% about anybody. Um, she's in jail. Didn't think she'd be a very effective president there. He's kind of got his hands dirty from putting her in jail. Watermelon was suspicious, but Watermelon's... She was one of those three that were, were tied up into that. But um, Hubba's pretty certain since... She wasn't involved in this kerfuffle that she's not she wasn't the Cylon then and you know she's been quiet and helpful she beat the robot so she is now going to be the president which actually suits her fine that was a goal in her heart to become president um, she didn't really get a chance to do anything about it but um, she got it she's the president and so this is going to get blown up <laughs> And what does that say? I'm looking through the viewfinder. Nothing. Nothing is lost but the spaceship. It was an empty vessel, um, which is a good bit of luck for the Battlestar crew. Admiral Bruz is using his newfound title to set off a nuke on this um, this base star here. So let's look at our little chart. There's a whole other table for nuclear weapons. Well, not really a table. It's like a few numbers. Uh, okay. Oh, it's actually on the card. I forgot. Okay, so he's going to roll this. And we'll see what happens. Six. So six means do, do, do. the base star is destroyed. And he feels really good about that. That was a heroic move. Ooh, and a resistance has formed. There some some people here, you can see them in the background. Uh, they're refusing to resupply the Galactica, give them supplies until the president is reinstated. They're big fans of Nine Ball. Um, everyone pitched in a little bit under this check. They feel pretty good about their chances of beating it. It was, uh, 
If they do, it's definitely been a group effort. Everyone put in cards, even the jailbird, the former Admiral Tater. All right, so this one makes the, the fail result not kick in. That's one, two. Ooh, that puts in a couple random ones. And that doesn't do anything. Two, four, six. Da, 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 da. This might be a moment of triumph for our team. Seven, where they kind of get back together and pull through to beat back the rabble rousers. Nine, twelve, thirteen. This is exciting. Fourteen, well, not really exciting. Um, Eighteen, they did it. They did it quite handily. Um, you know, not a super tough tough one. Not uh not not bad numbers, not bad colors. Very good, very good. Something to feel good about. And they go up the jump track. I think I think this is going to be the riding off into the sunset portion of the game where where they're just kind of have this this steady, steady steady march to the end, except um, this person still is in jail. Uh, it's time to use this little chip again. It's time for me to go do something else. I'm going to try and come back um, uh, tonight if I can and play on. So I'm not going to call this done yet. Uh, we'll, we're going to be pausing where we started at Tater as in Tot. Can't really do a lot in jail unless she gets some special card that lets her do something or other. Um, she definitely doesn't have it right now. Um, or she can try and get out of jail. That would be tough. She has to convince some people. I'm back once again. I'm going to try and uh, squeeze a little bit more play in. I want to remind myself what's been going on and where everyone's at before I get started, however. And I'm just going to go down the line person by person. So we have Nine Ball. He recently lost his presidency. Um, overall, you know, there's there's actually the, the gentlemen have been getting suspicious of Nine Ball. The women still have not. And there was nothing gender related about that. It was, I use it was just how the roles came out. It just happened to come out that way, um, just for your own for your own benefit. Um, yeah, he lost his presidency. He's gonna have to come up with a very different uh, di different way of operating as a result of that. He's been hanging out in the little spaceship um, that that. The Colonial One is what they call it. It's the presidential spaceship, just kind of doing things from afar, having other people do work, giving them extra turns, using his uh, presidential cards a little bit. Um, now he doesn't have that, so he's going to have to do something else. Brezza, you know, he's out piloting around, but he's also the admiral. So, you know, last his last turn he could have been uh, out there shooting people with his lasers, but instead he used his nuclear nuclear device. So he had to he had to make a choice between those two roles and he chose um, the Admiral there. And it was effective, he got rid of the base star. Maybe he was just uh, kind of an odd time to use it since the humans seemed to be getting out of there and it wasn't that um, drastic of a situation. But at the same time, you know, he just came into this power and he wanted to use it. Something the other, the last Admiral, Tater, never did. Tater is now in prison. Uh, we'll get to her in a second because we're going to decide what she does. Um, Hubba's got some some ships to fix. He's he's had a, a lot of drama. I think he won one out on the in the court of public opinion, anyway, against Tater. But we don't know. There was never a vote. There was never a skill check on putting her in in prison. He just played that card and was able to do it. Most for those of you who don't know the game, usually um, there's a skill check, and so people get to vote. Um, it's not an even vote, but they get to everyone gets a say in whether or not the person goes into prison. Um, same thing happens when someone tries to get out of prison, unless someone plays a president card. Um, the president cards did just uh, get handed over to Watermelon, however, and Watermelon, how does she? She also is pretty suspicious of Tater, so it's unlikely she's going to play it. But if her if her opinion changes as the new president, she could. Um, pardon Tater and get her out of prison. Uh, Watermelon, where is she sitting? She's president. You know, she's had a, she's the hero. You know, she was, she's, things are going, going pretty well for her. Um, she killed the robot and now she's president. I could say it again because I don't think I've said it enough. Watermelon's president now. Let's get back to Tater. Tater's going to be drawing some her skill cards. Forgot to let you know that 
Tater um, did have to take a trauma token from jail uh, at the start of her turn. Luckily, it was not one that killed her. Um, she's going to do every turn she's in jail, there's a chance that she's going to get killed. Even if she doesn't, she's going to be piling these up. Um, you know, a good chunk of those are bad ones for her. So the longer she's there, the more likely it is that she's going to lose the game. Um, which has a, you know, even if the if the humans win and she is a hu human and she loses the game as a result of these, she has not participated in that victory. So she won't get to play the next game that decides who continues. Uh, likewise, if she's a Cylon and the Cylons win, if she has too many blue ones in that case, she'll, she'll still have lost the game, which is good for the remaining Cylon because at most there's going to be two. Um... So that's something to consider. She's going to do a little bit of lobbying, though. Um, she she can only put one card into the skill check, so unless uh, luck is on her side, she's not going to have much of a chance of getting out. No one um, really feels like they're going to support her. She thinks she can maybe pull in nine ball, but um, Watermelon said <coughs> flat out no. Hubba actually said he'd go for her. Um, Brezza said he would, but she thinks, you know, with two against and her only putting in one and people not really wanting to put in a lot more, she, she feels better to lobby. So she's going to do an executive order on Brezza. <coughs> and he is going to move. He is going to fly his ship. He gets to fly another ship first. Um, and I guess he'll fly that one over there and he's going to fly over to here. Hubba went to command and is activating some spaceships. He launched one right here, and this one is going to shoot at the silence, and it gets a minus two to its attack roll, so that means it needs to get a, what, what is it normally, three or better, so now it needs to get a five or better. I'm rolling the wrong die, there we go. That's a two, that's less than five. By better, I mean more. So the ship missed, but um, he's showing them that he's got some guns. Let's see what his crisis is. And it's detente. So the CAG chooses. The CAG is currently Brezza. So either all Vipers in space areas are returned to the reserves, all characters who are piloting Vipers are placed in the hangar deck, and the pursuit track is increased by one. Okay, so that the pursuit track is not actually in play. I kept these CAG chooses cards because I like um, I like the word CAG. Um, but we can still work with that. So what it would do is it would make all the spaceships go back or you can activate things. He doesn't want to go back so he is going to cause the activation. So if there had been a base star to shoot, there's no base star. There are these guys though so they're going to move. Um, what's going to happen is these are going to move towards the closest uh, civilian ship and these are all going to shoot at this guy right here so we'll go through uh, I, should, I should actually examine his cards real quick okay he's got some some dodgy cards um, all right. and if they get a five or higher he goes down one that's a miss roll again seven that would be a damage um, yeah, he's going to throw in one of these cards. This one's going to shoot at him. And that's a damage anyway. And he's going to save his other one. So that, that one's damage. And that was the, this one that shot twice, right? So these two are going to move up here. It is time for Watermelon, the president, the robot slayer, um, to act. Now, if you recall, she has the special card that would allow her to pardon Tater. Uh, she doesn't feel comfortable doing that, even though she is positive that Hubba is guilty. They had a big exchange where she condemned his activity of sending out the ships as being a waste of time. They're going to jump soon. The sh these guys aren't even that helpful. These not piloted vipers. He should have been fixing vipers or done something else that was more helpful. He argued that, you know, you never know when the jump thing is going to come up and he... He used the beginning of the game as an argument. She responded that um, even so, you know, they, they could just jump early if they needed to, if it really got that bad. And he replied that then you'd lose population. She said, well, you could use a card and, you know, it's, 
there's more important things than sending out worthless vipers. Anyway, it went on, and she debated just putting him in jail, but she has decided to do um, this rather interesting move, I think. She is going to assign an arbiter. An arbitrator, sorry. An arbitrator is someone who can raise or lower the difficulty of this challenge, the challenge that's required to throw someone in jail. Um, she could choose a lot of different people. She could choose Nine Ball. And Watermelon feels all right about Nine Ball. Uh, she could choose Brezza. She feels very good about Brezza. She, do, she doesn't think there's any chance that Brezza is a Cylon. He's been the ferocious fighter pilot. Um, but she's not going to choose Hubba because she wants to put him in jail. And she can't choose herself. Um, she can choose the former Admiral, however, which is an interesting choice, I think, considering that she is also in jail. And Watermelon just got a mysterious message. And the mysterious message is one of those cards that's designed for that extra board. I think it would maybe be more um, more of a decision if that board was in play. I, I can't remember the specifics of the rules. Um, but basically she can decide to do the skill check and the the bonus she gets is she gets to discard two, two cards of her choice from this Destiny deck. Um, that would be both cards that are in there. I don't know if that's really worth a skill check for everyone. However, she does have a lot of cards. She's going to have to discard cards if she doesn't do a skill check. But really, the alternative is nothing bad happens. So she, it's really hard for her not to do, um, not do that choice. So she's going to do that choice and not do the skill check. Um, kind of a bittersweet potion, this mysterious message. So first thing that's going to happen is these guys are going to shoot. One of them destroys this. Oh, and that's going to lower both morale and population. The ship is out of the game. And I, I I think I messed up some movement earlier. I think when these guys destroyed a ship, they were the rest of them were supposed to move. I didn't do that. Um, I make a lot of mistakes. Here we go. And these are going to move here. That doesn't really matter because they're going to all jump away. Anyway, um, these guys are all going to shoot at, at Brezza. If they manage to destroy him, then they have free shot at that second ship. Here we go. And that's a four. That's a miss. Pew, pew. We'll just, we'll just hold down here. Three. That's a miss. they got to get a five or higher. Pew, pew. Six. That's a damage. I'm going to see if he has any cards. I'll be right back. All right. He was unable to get out of the way. So he is going to be in sick bay. And his viper is damaged. And that's not good for him. And that's not good for everyone because this remaining one is going to destroy this one. And they're losing more people. Yay. But on the bright side, they're going to jump. Pew! Jump! They have arrived at a barren planet, which caused them to lose two fuel. They're getting really low at f low on fuel. Um, let's take a look at their history. One fuel, one fuel. They must have lost fuel from something else. No, no, no. That was all of it. If they lose four more, they, they've lost the game. They still have at least two more jumps to go, depending. They have to get um, they have to get to eight, distance of eight, and then make one more jump. And then the humans win. Um, so... You know, since morale and population weren't lost, I don't think people are too upset with Brezza, the admiral who made that call. Um, but people are going to be looking at it. Whenever the admiral makes that choice, it's, 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 a, it's a cause for suspicion. All right, so now they're at this barren planet. They went from deep space to a remote planet to a barren planet. And it's time for the former president's turn. And that's where we're going to end it with our former president alone on a bad plan. I like to think he's alone. He's not alone. There's all those other people there. But I think he's starting to feel alone um, with uh, you know, one of his team in jail and the rest kind of fighting. He feels like he can't get close to Watermelon now that she has his title. Um, she's not as friendly to him as she once was. Anyway, he's on a barren planet deciding what to do deciding who he can trust. Um, there is really no no real problem confronting them right now. Um, except my ineptness with the rules. 
not ineptness with the rules so much as just forgetting some of the special powers that people have. And um, uh, Nine Ball is one of those. Um, a couple things. He's supposed to discard, and I think they kind of cancel out because I forgot his good power and his bad power. He's supposed to um, discard cards when he activates a location. I have not been doing that. Uh, he also gets to choose between two crisis cards whenever he does a crisis. Um, and I have not been doing that either, so I will try to remember to do that. I think I've done everyone else's powers. Um, I might have forgotten Tater's alcoholism, but I also did not do her special power. Oh, she could have. She can reduce the difficulty by three uh, when someone ac activates the Admiral's Quarters. That's the bedroom. So that coupled with this Arbitrator card that she just got, that makes it especially effective. And I didn't really pay attention to that till just now. She can lower the difficulty by six collectively. So if she thinks, and you know, but then she has to discard the Arbitrator card. So while she has that card, if she uses that card, she can make the difficulty one to put someone in jail. That should make next session interesting, and it should allow her to get some company so long as someone decides to activate the Admiral's Quarters. Um, we'll see what happens next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament Battlestar Galactica. I hope we can get done in time uh, for Saturday. I'm going to be playing this game. All right, bye.